We now learn how to use our TI Inspire to calculate the area enclosed by a curve and the x-axis between two specific values of x. And to learn the method, we'll use the example that we have here. We're asked to find the area enclosed by the curve y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 3 and the x-axis between x equals to 1 and x equals to 4. So let's go right to our TI Inspire and learn the method. We can see here that I'm on the home page of my TI Inspire. And the first thing I need to do is to actually draw the graph. So on my scratch pad here, I go ahead and click graph. Now at the top of the page, I go ahead and enter this function's equation. Remember ours was y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 3. So I type x squared minus 4x plus 3 and I click enter. We now have the graph. But looking at the screen here, we can see that we have a lot of wasted space on the left-hand side as well as at the bottom of the graph. So let me quickly readjust the window settings. For that, I go ahead and click on Menu. I then select the fourth option, Window slash Zoom, and I select the first option, Window Settings, and I click on it. Now, as a minimum x value, well, remember, the area we're interested in lies between x equals to 1 and x equals to 4. I tend to always like to make sure to go roughly two units further to the left and two units further to the right. So I'll make my x min value negative one and my maximum x value I'll make six. To get rid of the space at the bottom of the graph, I'll go ahead and reduce this minimum y value and I'll make that say negative three and I'll increase the maximum y value to say 16 and I click OK. There we go. Now I can see the curve very clearly. And I'll just move the label here to the side, like so. To find the area, here's what we do. I go ahead and click on Menu. I then select the sixth option, Analyze Graph. And I then select the seventh option, Bounded Area. And I click on it. The calculator is now asking me for the graph. The graph I want the calculator to consider is the blue one we have here. So I click anywhere along its length like so. But now the calculator asks me for a second graph. And here's the thing. The TI Inspire can only calculate the area enclosed between two curves. So the trick here is to tell the calculator that the x-axis is the second graph. So I go ahead and click absolutely anywhere on the x-axis, like so. Now I can see that the calculator is asking me for a lower bound. Well, remember, we're interested in the enclosed area between x equals to 1 and x equals to 4. So the lower bound is 1. And to tell that to the calculator, all we have to do is type 1. And we type that absolutely anywhere. Once it's typed, we click Enter. It's now asking for the upper bound. And as we just said, the upper bound is 4. So I go ahead and type 4 absolutely anywhere, and I click Enter. And we're done. The enclosed area is equal to 2.67. We now know how to calculate the area enclosed by a curve and the x-axis using our TI Inspire CX. To finish this tutorial, let's quickly go back to the question paper to see how we should present our answer in an exam. In an exam, even though we may be allowed to use a calculator, we still need to present our answers properly. And here's how we would do that. We would state that the area is equal to the definite integral from one to four of the absolute value of our function. So that's x squared minus 4x plus 3. Careful, it's very important to write this absolute value, as that is what ensures that we're actually calculating the enclosed area and not simply the definite integral. Now that we've written that, we can go ahead and state that the area is equal to 2.67. And we could add u dot a, as in units of area, and in parentheses, with g d c, which means graphical display calculator. And that's the final answer. The function we looked at here to learn the method was relatively simple. In fact, I have no doubt you could have done this entire question by hand. But the good news is, it doesn't matter how complicated our function gets, we'll always be able to use the TI Inspire, just as we did here, to calculate any area enclosed by it and the x-axis. And there we have it. We now know how to calculate the area enclosed by a curve and the x-axis 
using our TI Inspire CX.